We're gonna keep it like this. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Ooh. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Girl? <gasps> you better get back in that car. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. We are not reversing controls. Yes, I would like to point up and... Oh my god. Okay, so this is a game by Remedy. They are known for Max Payne and I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. <laughs> okay. Quantum break. And, um, I see something shiny. I'm gonna go this way. Shiny, shiny. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Ooh. Great. I'm not gonna find all of those. Well, look like I was screwed from the get-go. Key. It's not much safety. Oh, it's just one cone. Oh wait, what the frick? It me. Why am I missing? Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! Do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Girl, you better run! Gil, you better run! Oh my god, boy, if you don't run! My god! Oh my god! Don't do this! Don't do this! Oh my god. Okay, come on. Come on. You missed your deadline! Ooh. Damn. Um, LB. Ooh. You can't stop me! Jesus! 
Where can I go? Where can I go? <laughs> oh my god. Where am I going? I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh my god, stop! How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? <laughs> Boy, you better go. Go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go. Let's keep going out. <laughs> Go. This way, this way. Can I jump? Okay, that's a weak jump. Hurry. Hello. Mr. Weak, it's me. I still remember. What do I? Get inside. There's no time to lose. Okay. Why is he stuck outside? No! Damn it, die! No! 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 <gasps> Ooh. Oh. There was no way out. Okay. Jesus! Stop! Don't look at me! You're not allowed to look at me! Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Am I good? There's no weapons! Jeez! How? I can't get out! I can't get out! Oh my god! Tom the poet. How am I getting out? Follow the light. Okay. How am I getting there? Oh. You are hurt. You should go in with the light. Oh. You are only safe there. Who? Oh. Okay. Okay, great. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Lighthouse? Of course, I need a battery. <laughs> you did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. You're here to take the gun. Okay. Now you'll die. Oh. Back your dream now. 
Don't give me back my dream. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Give me back my dream like I want it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. How am I gonna get over here? Jesus! Oh! Oh, I got clocked! Oh, I got clocked! Oh. Oh, man. Pick it all up. Pick it all up now. Oh my. Get to the lighthouse. Wait. Um... Hustle. Oh no, you can run better than this. Oh man. Girl. Boy bear hop too. Oh my gosh. What is even coming for me? Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Malice. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Alright, but is there a collectible? Screw it. Time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, 
I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I guess. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Wait, what car is this? Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> cool. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Yeah, why not, like, your house? Uh, try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are you staying long, uh, Mr. Wake? Right. So much for a quiet it. vacation. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Dear Fess. Are you on your own? Or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Do me a favor, Sonny. <laughs> I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. 
This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Oh, hey. Uh, ma'am? <laughs> it's got some Twin Peak vibes in here. <laughs> what is the lamp saying to you? <laughs> oh. Holy in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Women's Hello, Mr. Stucky. Yo, are you Stucky? Gee, Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Who okay. hands? I wish you a good stay in my cabin. Things I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Who hands things out to people like that? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Cool. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time. To see you. Hey, you wouldn't have to have a bottle on, would you, Tom? I wish. Right. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Uh... Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh... What? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> believe this place this would make a wonderful setting for a book we're supposed to be on vacation Alice I'll figure it out when we get back home okay okay we can talk about this later Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it I wanted to bury my head in sand here's another one of my favorites to go with it. once upon a time I was a successful writer but that was a long time ago I hadn't been able to write a word in two years not since my last book Mm. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Divers. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. It's freaking crows.
bird leg cabin. Once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Boop. What am I examining? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? The power cable goes to that shed over there. All right. Thermos. Give me the thermos. Thought they'd be in like weird places. Come on, how do I turn the power on, guys? Up, girl. There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Hmm. Nope, can't open that. I just came out here. Let's see. The old generator had been connected to the power cable. This looks so stable. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. okay. I'll look, I'll look around, around a bit. A bit. Sure, sure thing. thing! Have fun! It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here. Sleep here and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Allison told me about Colden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. It looks so pretty. Right. Alice? Alice? Honey? Honey? Alice? Alan, I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! surprise. Alice? What is this? I guess I, guess I have, have a small confession to make. I thought, I thought maybe you would like here that a change of scenery would get you past. Alice, Alice, you, you everyone, hey, 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 just, just hear, hear me out. out. There's, There's a local doctor, doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. So now you, now you want, to want to get me committed? No, no it's, it's not, not like, like that. that. That's not. Girl? Alan? 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 I don't. Just, just 
Asshole. Don't. I don't, I don't want to hear it. God, God damn, damn it, it Alex. God, God damn, damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Coming, babe. Dang, she is freaking out. I was just in the water. Uh, waking up in a crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. The frick? Uh... Come on, examine the thing. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. It's pretty smug. The station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. So... Uh, which way do I have to go? Uh, the game guide. What's to do? Hello? Hello? Ooh, light. Uh. Hello? Someone, Someone there? there? My page is. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Well, let's resume the game, guy.
That's not for boating. Oh. Up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. <laughs> Something wrong here. Uh, can I climb up that? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh wait. Hey. All right. Ooh, a PG. <laughs> the taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay. Like Nicholson in the Shining. Energizer. Pit. Don't just pick up one, bro. Please stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Time to go. Let's go. Oh no. Why can't I leave yet? Oh, get out of there. Oh, okay, great. That was not the way to go. That was not the way to go. Okay. Wait, what's this? Ooh. Give me them batters. Alright, alright. 
Hop out. Boy, you better go. Oh my god, go somewhere. Ooh. Jesus! Okay. My head bounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. I was dreaming. It felt real enough to make me sick. Okay. Hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Where can I go now? Which way am I going? Uh... For real. <sighs> Come on, game. Oh, yay. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, well, not of that. Give me all the items. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. So... Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Uh. Jesus! Ugh. I didn't mean to run into you! Oh no! Stop! There's another one. Ah! Ah! Okay, come on. Climb your booty butt up there. Ooh, another arrow. Right? No, it literally was pointing over here, but... That's not where I'm supposed to be going. Huh? What does that mean? Oh. What? How am I not getting this? Here is a ladder. Somehow not running out of bullets. 
so so that means straight ah taken we're taken. taken the taken are filled with darkness Oh my. Alright. Specifically lithium batteries. Okay. Uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, so I went in. Going out. Going back out. Whoa. What do I do now? I, I'm hearing breathing and I don't like it. Oh. I guess go back down. Mm, I'm so weak. Which way am I supposed to go? Where? Where is the gas station? This way? That's where the gas station is. Girl, if you don't... It's called going down the ladder. Is it this way? Is it this way? This doesn't feel right, but okay. The staircase was broken. Cool. I had to make my way up some other way. Cool. The hard way. I don't know how I reached my limits. Okay, so we're gonna go to the left. To the left. Ooh, thermos. Going the right way. Gimme. This one's gonna chop my head off. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Which way am I going? Which is the right way? this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I can use to reach the top. I mean... There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Great. Come on, guys. Where'd you put- oh, well. What do you know? It's right there. Oh, wait, is it? That looks like a generator. But that's a just. But the. Yeah, go deeper into it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. oh man. Boy? <sighs> Yay. This is gonna be easy. Just zoom up on me. 
It's coming. Something's coming. Something's coming. Somebody's gonna come. Uh... Very rhythmic. And it was on beat. Alright. Climb up. Okay. Okay. Boy! Oh my god. It could, it just, I just, I couldn't just land it and jump. Wait, wait, wait. what's this thing? Oh, it's just a freaking helmet. That <sighs> just scared the crap out of me. All right. Get into the light. Lighty light light light. Okay. Taking a breather. Breathing, breathing. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather's absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Two listeners know I'm a night owl. It's on nights nice like, like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It makes an old man like me wish I could just roll wild. <laughs> but here I am. And, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late, Caller. You're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walking trip. Oh, isn't it beautiful, beautiful out there? there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Well, probably a rabbit. rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, well sure. sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And, and Toby's, Toby's a friendly dog? dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's, it's out, out there, there now. now. Hope, Hope Toby, Toby comes, comes home soon. soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You, you have a good night, night now. Uh, am I gonna have to fight dogs? I feel bad for Toby, but jeez. I don't fight no bad dogs. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Okay. Back to the game. Don't find no doggies. Yeah. The gas station was closer now. It's, it's like welcoming, welcoming in the darkness. Uh, I heard dog several times. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, okay. 
Oh my god. Why would they say famous dog? Safe haven. <laughs> Alright, I'm going, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Go! Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Alright. Spoopy. I'm hitting a wall, I'm hitting a wall. I'm trying to go- oh, no, no, that's a cliff, that's a cliff. Oh my god! Boy, if you don't run! Run, 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 run! I just came from here! Oh! oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I just, I just want to reach the gas station. Is there a focal? No, there's no focal point. I'm gonna have to go through that. I have to go through that. I have to go through that. Okay. All right. Follow the light. There's only. If the gas station. That boy. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just a rider. Okay. Oh, there's the moon. Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in the light. I'm in the freaking light. So, where's our light beam? Oh no! I hear them whisper. All right, one, two, three, go, 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 go. Just go towards the beacon. Just go towards the beacon. Towards the beacon. Oh my god. Ah! 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 Oh, Jesus! <laughs> run, just run! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's a stupid manuscript. Pick it up, pick it up. Run! <laughs> run, just run. Run! Run, 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 I'm hitting a wall. Oh my god. Look, look. I'm getting tired. I'm getting real tired, okay? Oh my god. I did not see this in the woods. Oh my goodness. That's a good place to stop. It's a good place to stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's grab what's in here. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Stay back in the light. Stay back in the light. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm so good right now. That's good. Alright. See you next time.